All right, all right, because I'm back. What's up, what's up, man? How are you doing today? It's time for us to do our monthly tier list. And this time around, we have gotten six new units and a couple of resurrections that we are not going to talk about today. The parasol resurrection units are all just orbs, and that's about it, you know? They are not going to be talked about in this tier list video. They got nothing, guys, you know? So without further ado, let's just hop in there. We're going to start off with the horde attribute. You do have the potion units at the left side of the screen, and you have the bracket at the right side. Our new additions to this list are gonna be Ginjo and the swimsuit version of Rangiku. First of all, let's talk about Ginjo real quick. For a mid mod unit, this Ginjo is exceptionally strong. You do have the hard human damage to the status, affected enemies 40% buff for the whole entire team. You do have the strong deck damage as well for the party skill, weakening on every ability, great damage output, and not to mention that he got Havoc as well for a mid mod unit. His strong attacks are well made and the playstyle, if it fits you, is gonna be one of your favorite characters to play if you get your hands on this unit in the future. I'm sure not a lot of people summoned for this unit, but if you care about the stats and stuff like that, how well this unit performs is actually fantastic. I did rank him pretty high on the list, and the main reason why is because the Horde characters overall nowadays are not that good, you know? Like, we haven't really gotten too many good Horde characters, except like Bruno and the new Ragnik, right? This uh, Ginjo definitely is a high contender on the list and just because how well he was made. I'm sure I don't have to talk about Rangiku too much because a lot of people summoned for her and if you have the unit, if you own the unit, you know how well this unit performs in terms of farming and doing inheritance trials. She exceeds right there like crazy. She's like Tensa Zangets. If you own the unit, if you know about Tensa Zangets, you will understand. But the only thing that is different is that she's ranged and not melee, right? You do have the recovery stamina right there. You have all of these farming capabilities like people Cyrus skin, you have the super pots, normal pots, mind droplet boost, you have the coins as well, which is kind of rare, you know, to see on a, like, a pretty strong unit, a coin drop, it was made for Gin as well, Spirit's Gin, if you guys remember, right, but the main idea of the unit is that she can go through iron skin super, super easily, overall just a fantastic unit and definitely top 3 heart unit in the game, she's definitely not better than Bruno or Ichigo, but she's super, super close, I mean, she was made for a farming unit, not to be the best, DPS in the game, if you know what I mean. Unfortunately, in the month of June, we haven't gotten a new mind character, so the bracket will stay the same. Of course, take a look at it, if you know what I mean, in case you missed the last video for the last mod. You do have the potion units, you have the bracket on the right side. That's mainly about it. Nothing too much to talk about here. Just like how I said it, no new units, and that's about it. Now, we're gonna follow up with the power attribute real quick. You do have the new Riruka added to the list, and the new Mirma Tsukishima as well. First of all, Let's talk about a little bit about Tsukishima. Super, super mediocre unit overall. He was made for guild quests, you know? Like, he has those guild quest amplifiers right there for the mixed GQ, you know, the Stone Ritter GQ, stuff like that. He has a questionable killer as well, you know? Just like how I said it before, it's a guild quest unit, you know? He was made for that to be great right there. Outside of guild quests, he doesn't really exceed in anything. He's not good in arena, he's not really good in co-op or single player, anything like that. Of course, he can auto the point event but that's not really a trait if you know what i mean you do have the melee damage in gq you do have the killer in gq you have the poise effect and you do have the normal attack team party skill and that's mainly about it you know a super basic low range on the normal attacks riruka on the other hand is an exceptionally good unit right there i'm sure some people will ask why because you know she have gotten a range collision first ability and a lot of people are not preferring the second ability of hers you know, when it just pulls in the enemies and sends out a mini beam. I don't know why. Personally, I think it's a really, really good ability, especially for ranged characters, because you can pull in the enemies and combo with the first skill right there. And not to mention that you have the 6% cooldown reduction if you can keep your full stamp, which is going to be super easy to do. You do have the drain, you know, the lifesteal. You have an automatic revival and a special move. And you have the third skill as a charge heal maneuver. In addition to that, she has strong attack damage for 40% if you can keep your full stamp. You have 10 potions right there, which is gonna allow you to farm a lot of pots, and her damage with the full stamp sold rate as well, and including everything that we have seen here about the unit, is gonna be fantastic. Definitely one of the upper tier characters for the power attribute. 
technique brackets real quick we haven't gotten anything crazy here except the new yukio for mid mod he offers a lot of value to the team members even if you're not using him in guild quest both in epic raids and in co-op as well he's fantastic to play with thanks to his big range and great damage output not to mention that you do have the booster skill and you have a lot of damage amplifiers if you want to use him in guild quest right not a lot of mid mod characters are getting this type of value and at last, let's just talk about the speed characters as well. Nothing too crazy happened to the bracket. The only thing that we have gotten this month is the new Swimsuit Mila Rose, which is offering you 10 potions as well if you're gonna play with the unit. She definitely exceeds in doing damage in a co-op content because you do have the Aranka Resonance ability, the Laceration non-stop, and the melee damage as well for co-op, right? She got great strong attacks. Of course, the second skill could be better. I don't, I mean, just... It's just a personal thing for me. I don't think the second skill is that good. Other than that, she's perfectly fine. You know, you do have all of these amplifiers and you have basically a really, really good farming character in your hands. I'm super satisfied with the characters that we have gotten for the month of June and hopefully we can see some beautiful and broken characters for the anniversary. That's gonna be our monthly tier list. Hopefully I was able to help. Thank you so much for watching. Take care. Have a beautiful day slash night wherever you are. Bye-bye.